Welcome back guys. Today we have kind of a depressing video. The 10 most dangerous toys for kids. Like they're for kids. And let's go check it out. Give this video a big huge thumbs up. And thank you for 369,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. And here we go. And go subscribe to Watch Mojo. They make really awesome videos. Do it for me. Do it for me, please. Apply even pressure as you go. And the longer you leave your tool in one place, the deeper and darker the burn will be. If that could burn wood, what could what could it like do to your skin? Kids just wanna have fun, but with some toys, True. that's easier said than done. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top ten dangerous kids toys. For this list, that looks like an epic toy, but toys that present a serious health and safety risk yeah. to the kids they're marketed to. Once again, we're excluding toys that are only dangerous when the age guidelines are ignored. If you didn't see, I want to have like moving to toy list, things. Be sure to check out our first video. I would love that. The top ten dangerous kids toys. We toys can see everything. So play nice. Dude, me and Woody would be really good friends. Number ten, Polly Pocket. <laughs> I remember those like commercials. These dolls made a big impression when they first debuted in 1989. Despite their modest height of under one inch, imagine an entire apartment shrunk down to fit into a pocket-sized folding dollhouse, styled Choking as hazard. a makeup compact. Add the male equivalent playsets Mighty Max, and this line of choking hazards had kids in the 90s eating out of the palm of their hand. These toys were already dangerous enough to warrant teaching. Yeah, a they're one paper. inch. But the Polly Pocket magnetic playsets with their magnetic clothing warranted a full recall in 2006. These that dolls sucks. were too large to swallow, but the small magnets often fell out, wreaking life-threatening havoc on digestive systems if multiple were ingested. Not good. Number nine. Inflatable baby floats. Uttery turns bath time into moments of fun, exploration. Oh my gosh, that is There's so nothing bad. Scarier than a potentially lethal baby product. Parents always need to be extra careful with infants around water, but you can understand how one might let. It scares me like just like watching that. Down when placing a child in an inflatable device specifically designed for that purpose. No. Sadly, a number of baby flotation products have ripped, resulting in the child sinking or being smothered. In 2009, some 4 million units, consisting of various models of the Aqua Leisure baby floats, were recalled. 4 million the products were recalled. Instances of the seat strap ripping occurred, allowing the baby to fall into the water. In 2015, oh water floats were recalled after some 50 cases of deflation were reported. Thankfully, neither specific case resulted in death. Number eight, mm. children's wood burning kits. If the word burning is in the That's name the of dumbest product, thing ever. Maybe don't market it to kids. Admittedly, the various companies manufacturing this product have always targeted the outdoorsy, do it yourself, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America kind of kid. They're the types who generally don't need their toys bubble wrapped. I will be <laughs> teaching you to dig a proper trench. Sets from the 1950s were notorious for burns and for Obviously. the fact that kids would learn responsibility. Modern kits, like those made by educational toy companies like TS Shore and NSI, are more safety minded. It'd be cool for like a teenager, but like kids, like. But no, no amount of safety recommendations can mitigate the potential for burns, or worse, fires. If it can burn a pattern into wood, it can burn plenty of other stuff too. Aww. Number seven, creepy crawlers. <laughs> That's awesome. They might not exactly be playing with fire, but this creation station still involves high temperatures. And in early models, the good old models, 90s, Mattel first began producing creepy crawlers in 1964. Sets included die cast creature molds, a liquid chemical that kids poured into the mold, and a small oven or hot plate to heat the uh. plastic hoop into hardened rubbery shapes. Oh man. Don't change it is cool, got but lot safer in the 1990s. But the early versions consisted of an open face hot plate that rose to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. It might not be liquid magnet. Damn, that's, that's really hot actually. Hot. That's harder than my oven. You touched the creature before it solidified. 
Although marketed as non-toxic at the time, that was before we knew the dangers of PVC fumes. Number six, Austin Not good. Magic Pistol. Works on magic crystals. Doesn't it suck that all the most dangerous toys are also the coolest? This toy gun actually uses yeah. combustion. Flames shoot out of it. It's made of metal and totally looks like a ray gun from early sci-fi. While the Austin Magic Pistol might make for a wicked it shoots awesome flames? toy when you're what? in your 20s or older, this circa 1950s toy gun is absurdly dangerous. You're gonna be fine, baby doll. Its magic crystals are composed of a mixture of calcium carbide and water, which, with a little help from the sparking trigger, combusts violently. Even in the wild and crazy 50s, it quickly became apparent that this was no toy, resulting in a number of bans. That's number ridiculous, five, dude. Science Wiz Bottle Rocket Party. Science Wiz Bottle Rocket Party. This is the top 10 unsafe toys of 2014 list from parental safety group Watch. This Ooh. kit gives children everything they need to have a bottle rocket party. It includes the rockets themselves, stoppers. I think I had one of those when I was a kid. But you should have like a parent with you. I think, yeah, that's what I think. And fun caution tape so you feel like you're at you're a You're not that bad. Lunch. But you need like a parent. What the kit does not include are the safety goggles they recommend on the packaging. The baking soda and really? vinegar propelled rockets aren't going to explode, but the projectiles still present a significant risk of eye or face. How about your mother? Pretty easy, right? The kit is labeled eight and up, but you'd be hard pressed to find any eight year old that's gonna wait until they can track down safety goggles before playing with something this cool. That's pretty stupid, yeah. Number four, Easy Bake Oven. I remember these. The Little Lady Empire Stove with its metal frame. That was huge back in the day. Of heat might have been the more deadly children's stove. But the Easy Bake Oven has had a much more significant impact since Kenner launched the product in 1963. It is a pretty cool idea, though. Over 25 million units have been sold since, meaning that the average kid likely interacted with one at some point. I never did. I always wanted one. Totally safe, but one or two got the recipe wrong. The 2006 version was recalled after 29 reports surfaced of kids getting their fingers caught in the front-loading oven door. Despite the recall, another 249 incidents were reported, one of which ended with a little girl needing a partial finger amputation. That's Number ridiculous. Three, Stats 38 Quick Folding Trampoline. Anything that goes up must come down. And the higher you launch a kid into the air, the greater the risk for injury. No. This specific trampoline might be mini, but it packs a huge risk factor. That's fun. Targeted to children six and up, it has some serious bounce to it. No safety, no padded handlebar. Turned out to be too dangerous. I want to get a trampoline in my apartment. Child losing control and flying into furniture is high. On the packaging, you find the following warning. Quote, landing on the head or neck can cause serious injury. Paralysis or death. Duh. Well, if, damn. as a manufacturer, you feel the need to put that on a product you're selling to six-year-olds, it's probably not good. You might have missed the point of age restrictions. Number two, mini hammock. Mini hammock. Maybe boats might be prone to malfunction, but mini hammocks seem as if they were designed specifically to endanger young children. Made from a fine nylon mesh and lacking any sort of spreader bar, these child-sized hammocks were prone to entangling their young users. Most often, this That's would occur when up. the child was attempting to get in or out of the hammock. In 1996, the Consumer Product Safety Commission issued a recall and safety warning on 10 different mini hammock brands and models. Most notably, That's terrible. the Easy Sales Hammock brand, unsafe for use due to a lack of spreader bar. Between 1984 and 1995, there were 12 separate cases of kids becoming trapped in the hammock and dying from asphyxiation. That is messed up, man. I feel bad for them. Mentions. Oh, I've seen like a vine where like those toys like flew into like the fire things. I remember those. Those are awesome, man. Aqua Dots. 
I remember those too. Those were huge back in the day. Very cool, very nice. And they solidify together into a single piece of art to show off to mom or dad. But as we've learned, anything a kid can swallow, they will swallow. These small toy beads, when ingested, caused vomiting, respiratory failure, seizures, and comas. Why? Scientists say a chemical in the toy becomes a powerful date rape drug if it is swallowed. Aquadots contained a compound that when consumed breaks down into GHB, the notorious date rape drug. The product Are you was serious? The shelves after three separate toddlers fell into comas. The parents of one toddler who suffered permanent brain damage won their court case against the manufacturers, distributors, and toy designers. If it's for kids, like at least like do your research. Like why would they make a product that will like, I don't know dude. That's really unprofessional and like terrible on like the product's behalf. Like if you're marketing to kids, don't make something that could kill them. I don't know man, that's just, that's terrible. Each company being assigned partial blame for the tragedy. You'll also get 150 aqua glow dots that light up in dark spots. Do you agree with our list? What dangerous toys do you remember from your childhood? Okay, like a lot of these, like I remember watching like a lot of these. The notorious top 10. I remember watching like a lot of these um, on like TV, like when I was like a kid, like the Dots and like the Easy Bake Oven and like Polly Pocket and like all these, which is like honestly crazy. And I'm happy like I've never had any of them. Like I always wanted like an Easy Bake Oven, even though they were usually for girls, but like I like food and I'm like, I want some food, man. It looked pretty cool. But yeah, comment down below if you had any of these toys as a kid. And if you want to see the full link videos in the description down below, go subscribe to Watch Mojo. And if you want me to react to any of your videos, leave me a comment down below with the video. And I will go check it out. And hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace.